my beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is Bettina I'm the makeup enthusiast in today's video I'm bringing you my update for end of February start of March for my partners in cream project pan I am very excited to share this with you today I am basically doing a complete refresh because for the most part I have hit all my goals so I'm very excited to share that with you. If you did want to see all my progress and updates on my products that I'm working on in this project, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, if you are new around here and you love watching project panning videos, make sure you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump on into it. I'm currently working on six products at the moment in this project. Last month was my intro. I started this project a month late this year. I'm very very pleased with how I'm going with all my project pants so far this year I have like come into 2024 like revitalized and reinvigorated and determined to get some shit out of my collection so I do actually have one surprise empty which is very exciting the rest of the products are going to be rolling out bar one which is going to be continuing on so let's start with the product that's going to be continuing on that is my little wayne goss lip liner this one is getting so incredibly tiny i think that this little guy will definitely be finished next month this is how big it is i when i sharpened this last time it was a little bit difficult so i think that once i use up what i have here i probably will only get one more sharpen out of it if that and i have used so much of this i've used like probably like a centimeter and a half of this one i really enjoy these lip liners i only have one of them but i've really enjoyed this one i'm very happy to see that i almost have one lip liner finished for this year so that one's going to be done by the next update i can almost guarantee probably maybe even the end of next week because i have been wearing this every day to work and i fill in my entire lip with it so i would say it's probably maybe like two weeks and this will be completely finished next let's roll in to my eyeliner so i have been working on this lh cosmetics eyeliner this is the acela flash eyeliner i have been wearing this fairly regularly i did set myself a goal to use this one 10 times but i actually ended up using this one 12 times and again on this one i'd say i've probably used about a centimeter a centimeter and a half of this one and this is how much is left of this i think that this might potentially be one that i might roll back around to at some point soon and maybe focus on it to have it completely used up i want to try and use up two eyeliners this year so for the first like couple of months, I think I might just feel out my eyeliner collection to decide what I actually want to focus on to have finished up. But I think at least one of them will probably be one of these LH eyeliners. I just find them really satisfying to pan because they are a sharpenable eyeliner. So I just feel like you see the visual progress and that keeps you motivated because you're seeing the pencil actually get shorter and shorter like every time you sharpen it so this one you might see come back at some point in the future but for the meantime i am going to replace it with another one of the lh cosmetics eyeliners this one is all crux so for this one i was going to give you a little swatch but this one <laughs> needs to be sharpened unfortunately so it is actually kind of like a deep this is not a very good swatch but it's kind of like this deep blue navy color hopefully you can pick that color up um but yeah it's like a deep it's like a deep navy blue so i'm hoping that i can almost use this as like a bit of a quasi black liner i'm gonna have a play around with it and see but this one's going to come in again for 10 uses and we'll see how much progress we can make on this one with the 10 uses but i'm very happy with even just like 10 uses on these i see a decent drop in them and i think if i rotated this one back in it would probably only take like maybe maybe three or four lots of 10. So if I could find a way to use this more regularly in a month, like if I could say, maybe use it like 15 to 20 times in a month, I probably would only take maybe two or three months on this one. 
with that many uses. So that's why I think maybe I might bring this one back in at some point. So those are my eyeliners that I am rolling out and replacing with. Let's move on to bronzer, I guess. For my bronzer, I was working on the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This is a cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This pan is ginormous. But I don't know if you can see, I do have a bit of a dip starting to show in the in the middle there. Um, and I've worn away like the riding and the, the swirl, part of the swirl that was in the center there. I'm starting to see like a nice dip. I ended up using this one 15 times. I did have this one in for a goal of 15 uses and we were successful with that one. To replace that, I am gonna rotate in my little itty bitty milk makeup bronzer this is the baked matte bronzer and i again i'm going to rotate this one in i think for 15 uses and hopefully oh actually this is starting to get a little bit stiff in this little tube hopefully i can see some decent progress on this one with 15 uses now that i'm feeling the formula this might be one that i might want to focus on to try and get used up i thought that this one would not be in this like shape because I'm sure this is like the the youngest if I could put it that way this is like the bronzer that I've had in all the cream bronzer that I've had in my collection for the least amount of time and I think the formula is probably not staying as stable as I would like it to be so that one's coming in for 15 uses and if I can get more uses out of these I definitely will give that a try there's a few products this month that I was able to get more uses than I stipulated at the intro. Uh, let's move in to blushes. So I was working on my Milk Makeup blush. This is the Lip and Cheek blush stick in the color Work. I rotated this one in for 10 uses and I was successful with that. I actually really like how this goes on the skin. And it blends out really nicely and it ends up being like this really nice, beautiful color on the skin. I actually was really impressed when you see my little tracking sheet. I was actually really surprised with how much progress I made on this one with only the 10 uses. Almost to the point where I feel like maybe I measured it wrong. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that it's an accurate representation of how much progress I made. And I'm very impressed with how much progress I made. It just makes me a little bit more motivated as well to maybe potentially rotate back to this at some point later in the year to maybe try and use it up. Just because both of these are like a little smaller size, it might not take me as long as a full size blush or bronzer stick might take. That one rotating out and I am going to rotate in this little mini that I have here. This is the Nude Stick All Over Face and Blush Color in the color Rosy Posy. I got this as a little mini from my Sephora points. So, oh, actually it's like almost identical. Uh, that's that one there. It looks very similar to actually the Milk Makeup one, but the formula does seem to be a little bit different. And this is how much is actually in there as well. So it's not much. Given that this is new in my collection and I haven't actually used any of these nude stick blush sticks before, I thought that I would just rotate this one in for, you know, a round just to see and have a play with it, just given that it's new in my collection and I haven't really had an opportunity to give it a good play around with just yet. I'm going to rotate this one in for the 10 uses as well. I'm keeping the uses on some of these products a lot lower this year just to try and keep things fresh and also to give me the ability to rotate through more of my collection. Next up we have my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This one, I don't remember what the color is, but I believe it might be Moonstone. I rotated this one in for 10 uses and I actually ended up using it for 13 uses. And I was tempted to use it a little bit more, but I decided against it because I am also panning a cream. I'm also panning a shadow primer at the moment. And that's how I was using this. For most of the uses that I did with the 13 uses, I laid this down as almost like a eyeshadow primer and then I would put eyeshadows over the top. It worked really well as that. And this is how much I have left after that. I was actually surprised when I just measured this that I've made 
as much progress as I have because these typically take a while to get through. So I'm very impressed to see that I've actually made a decent amount of progress on it considering how much is left. And again, this might be one that I might be open to coming back to later in the year in this like eyeshadow cream product category. Um, I just am really cognizant of the fact that I want to make sure I'm using up at least two steel and magnificent metal glittering glows or shimmering glows this year. So I want to make sure that I am allowing myself enough time in this particular category in this project to use those two up and not have like shadow sticks take away too much from those Stila products. That being said, I am going to rotate in one of my Stila Glitter and Glows. This is in the color Bronzed Bell, and this is actually one of the full size products. I think for now, I'm just gonna rotate this one in for usages for now, just to get a feel for the formula and the color. And if I see considerable usage or progress on this particular product with the uses, I might change that goal to completely using it up. For now though, I am going to rotate this one in, I think for 15 uses because it's a little bit higher than the 10. So I will see a little bit more progress on this than I ordinarily would with just 10. Um, and it's a little bit more challenging. So this one will probably be in the project for maybe two or three rounds, just given that I have raised the uses to uh, that 15 uses. And the formula on this definitely has not stayed like the same. These are starting to dry out on me. So that's it just there. But I want to give it a try and see if I can figure out a way to use this. I might have to try and activate this with some Duraline or something like that just to get it working. But that is what's coming in in this like eyeshadow category in this project and it's coming in for 15 uses. That one's going to be a challenge. Wish me luck on that little challenge. And last but not least is the product that was the surprise and it was my cream highlighter. So last month I rotated in the Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer and I rotated this for 10 uses. I ended up finishing it up with nine uses left. So when I rotated it in, that's where it was sitting with the product. So it was sitting like just under about halfway. I started using this on like my legs to make them like look nice and glowy. I also used it under my makeup, I think twice. So with each time that I was using it, like for my legs, for example, I ended up using it quite a bit because you know, to cover two legs, you need quite a bit of product. So that's how I managed to get this one used up with just nine uses. And I'm very impressed with myself. I'm very proud of myself. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised that this one only ended up taking me nine uses to have finished. So I am very happy to say that I have a little liquid illuminator out of my collection. So proud of myself for that one. And to replace that one, I am going to replace it with another mini that I have. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Moonlight. This is another one that's been sitting in my collection for a little while now. And I only have probably like, I think when I look at it, when it's completely settled, it's sitting like only around here. So I thought that given I had so much success with the Josie Moran, and I'm kind of feeling inspired and motivated, that because this one only has quite a small amount left in it, I think that I can possibly get it finished. So I am going to rotate this one in to finish and hopefully we can see it done within a month or two. That's that one there. So I'm very hopeful that I can see this one done like in a month or two. If I use this the same way I was using the Josie Moran, I think that I'll fly through it. I'm very hopeful. And I'm very optimistic that I can get that one finished. And I am enjoying the fact that I've, I'm seeing and I'm starting to see progress on some products that I've had in my collection for quite a while and I haven't touched for a while. Like I've finally finished this one up, the Josie Moran. I'm seeing a lot of usage on my caviar stick. My eyeliners are getting some good use out of them. I'm almost 
halfway to my goal of having two lip liners finished this year. So that's very exciting as well. I am very happy with how I'm going on this project so far this year. I think like we've already ticked off some goals already this year and it's only like three months into the year. So I'm very proud of myself so far. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you let me know down in the comments box what cream products you've been using lately and what cream products you've been enjoying lately. If you are new around here and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.